We have some time to roam around. Let's take in this beautiful view. Beautiful. Very futuristic. Water, trees, plants. I love it. Big place. Yeah. Obvious. Mmm, is that a good thing or no? Ooh, let me see. Hold on. Uh-huh. Got it. Yeah, I'm hacking. Let's go. Captain Hendricks Hand Rickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Rio cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in a recon team? How interesting. All right, let's go. Enough of this place. Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys, but most importantly, please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me and hit that notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. Hmm, okay. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name Hi. is Alina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. So are you a person or a program? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. She's an AI, you also guys. Be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Interesting, I like the details the here. Embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was mm. added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. 19 galactic standard years ago? That's a funny way of saying, saying 19 years ago. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. Really? It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. Oh, but so we got dibs pretty a fast. Deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My oh, code is limited wow. to information and simple interaction simulations. She is not capable of feelings or thoughts. She's just spitting out the facts. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. A century, you guys. A, a hundred years. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Anyways... Do you know anything about Spectres? The term Spectre is derived from the branch of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. Each Spectre agent is hand-picked by the Council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions, 
Spectres answer to no law or authority except the Council itself. So they're basically the muscle. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. I think we had enough, so... Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Ooh, let me see what she has to Good say. Good day, Commander. The human Hi. Officers up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. Sephiria, that is such a nice name. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Savina. Oh yeah, I just talked to her. That's cool. Anyways. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. You too. Let's go upstairs. This place is beautiful. And honestly, ooh, ooh, my bad, I'm sorry. Oh, I did a boo-boo, huh? Let me, uh, stop. My bad, I didn't mean to pull out my gun. Oh, I'm so sorry. Can I just, uh, how do I, how do I, oh my goodness. I don't know what to do. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. It's Hello, my Palin. job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed, Commander? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Damn. Not yet. At least he's honest. Your humans are eager to take all the power you can get. And you're being given a lot. The Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet. That's their business. But I don't have to like it. Favorite pets? What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. This guy doesn't even like anyone at this point. The Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. What? I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. And why not, sir? I need to know why. What's going on? Why did my coworker die? Now. Goodbye, Commander. Whatever. Anyways, am I going in the right place here? Uh, this elevator leads down to CSEC Academy. Yep, let's go. Am I not able to go to the elevator? Maybe not from here, but... This place is so huge. Like, the map. You can easily get lost here if you're not careful. Wow, look at this. Wait, who's this? I don't have time to talk now. I'm very Ooh, busy. I am so sorry to bother you. My bad. I am just lost as always. Ooh, 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 I am so sorry. I'm just trying to run here. Excuse me. Can I... Okay, good. No! I don't know how to put my weapon away! 
Okay, you know what? Let me just go over here, right? Yep. Let's, uh, let's go. Um... CSEC Academy. I hope we're going the right direction. Because I don't even know where I'm going at this point. The elevator? Is it here? You must talk to the council to gain access to the wards. Okay. This is not it, apparently. I am so lost. And I don't even know how to put this gun away. Chill. Shepard, chill. I don't even know what to do. I was trying to run. Oh, okay. So X is to run. Um, He's just staring at me. Maybe I should go this way? Yeah, maybe right here. Are we in the right place? Okay, yay, thank you. Finally. No! I, I forgot these controls. Hold on. Uh, let's go to journal. And... Go to the hydro system in the Argos real cluster. That's basically what it says, so... This could be it. Let's go down here. I'm just gonna follow the map. Because this... This right here, I'm just like so lost right now. It's a big place. I must talk to the council? Come on! Where is the council? Where am I supposed to be going, bro? I'm, like, so lost right now. Okay, maybe I have to go over here. Oh, this is so... embarrassing. What is this? Please do not disturb the keepers. I am so sorry. I'm just so lost. I don't even know... Wait, is this it? Ah, okay. We're here. Let's go. Finally, right? Guys, it's okay. We got this. I mean, plot armor, am I right? Besides, we're looking nice and spiffy here. Oh, this place is beautiful. Look at the trees. Wow. Oh, this is so nice. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Ooh, okay. Put him in his place, Palin. Why are you looking at me like that? Commander What's Shepard, good? Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. That is Take frustrating. I'm not going to lie. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Okay, so where's the council? Where am I... Where am I supposed to go? Let me go ahead and run here. And I can tell by the music, things are about to get crazy. Ooh, this is nice. This is really nice. Travel? Nah, I'm good. Okay, so according to the map, we gotta go up here, the so... The already started, come on. All right, Captain. I'm right behind you. I got lost, by the way. Thanks for the not showing me where to go. Some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Wow, what a liar. You always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. That's right. One who let the beacon get destroyed. 
The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. Sure, it did. Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. Sure, what okay. Did you expect from a human. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place. Your Excuse mind. me? You're not ready to join the council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. Thank this you. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. Saren's hiding behind his position as a Spectre. You need to open your eyes. What we need? Is evidence so far we've seen nothing. But what there you still mean? One outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. Oh, they're shook. They're like, oh, wow. Straight to the point. This human is so... The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. And he's able to get away with killing his own his friend. Crazy. We, we did that for what? For nothing. He died in vain. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. Yeah, they you a mission a long time didn't ago. tell us in the beginning. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like, and he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. How, though? We tried, and it didn't what work. Garris, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garris down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. Wow. I won't waste Reckless. my time. You won't and a to. loser? I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. Oh, wow. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Captain, regardless of your history with Harkin's Saren... Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Really? The Shadow Broker? Interesting. An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren. But his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? Tell us, Captain. About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Wow. Typical. And the official records just covered it all up. Of course they but did. I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. That is insane. So he is truly a killer. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the council. He's just frustrated. The council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. For they their convenience. To expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the council. The ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. 
Okay. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing Is he that bad? Custody, oh. Bribery accusations. Oh. Alcohol and drug use. <gasps> the embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. No wonder you he don't was like one him. Of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes. I'm so happy like I'm not in it. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. I thought this embassy was supposed to help humans. Harkin may be human, but he's also an ass. He's had more than his share of chances. If the embassy wasn't protecting him, he would have been fired 15 years ago. CSEC is better off without him. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. Really? The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done. Like you. Wait, like me? They've been watching you for years. So that's why I'm they here? They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. But with him gone, things are still up in the air. Wait a minute, do you think that's why he was killed? So it would be a lot harder for me to get into being a Spectre? Wow. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under a hundred. But the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents. The last line of defense. The final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. What happens when a Spectre goes rogue, like Saren? Exactly. It doesn't happen often. The Council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. Hmm, how much you want to bet Nihilus was there? Because that was his main thing, to bring down a Spectre. But since he ran into Silas his quote-unquote friend he thought he was the enemy and he thought that him and and well he basically thought they were going to work together so i mean that's my theory but holy cow this is insane this is insane tell me more about the shadow broker he's a necessary evil of galactic politics buying and selling information is a part of the game and the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone. Not directly. He's just a resource we can use. Or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Shadow Broker is basically anonymous. Tell me about Bar Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius. Doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. I need him on my side. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, spectators. Can he give me money? That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Oh, that's why. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. All right, thank you, Captain Anderson. I appreciate the little mini history lesson here. This is it. The very heart of the Citadel. The pinnacle of galactic power. Kind of makes your head spin if you think about it too much. I bet all these staircases aren't just for show. They make for good defensive positions if this place is ever attacked. Wow, you guys are really, um, hmm. Right. Interesting. So we're gonna walk 
around getting lost again, right? Where am I supposed to be going? Hold on. Oh, journo, good journo. Hold on. Missions. But can I do any assignments here? Hold on. Yes, I definitely want to speak to Harkin. So, let's let's go speak to Harkin. Am I not able to highlight the task? Come on, Mass Effect. I'm really not that good at this. Just give me a break here, okay? Please give me a break. Journal. Uh... Go to the tower. I already did that. I need to find proof. So I say we can go to... Citadel Garrus. Harkin. Speak... Go to Chora's Den in the Lower Wards and speak with Harkin. Alright, I can do just that. Let's go. Let's go, you guys. We got this. Harkin. Um, right here. You have arrived at Chora's Den, a gentleman's club. What? We're at a gentleman's club? I feel so... I don't know how I feel. A gentleman's club. This is crazy. So that means, am I going to be seeing some, uh, some strippers here? Is that really? Wow, it's you. Who are you? You're Commander Shepard. Yes, I am. The hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. Hi. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I spent most of my time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, uh, I know you're probably busy, but um, how did you, you guess? A quick autograph. What? Am I really that much of a celebrity to this fan? guy? Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again. Wow, am I really that much of a celebrity? That's crazy. Okay, so let me see. I don't sell this model. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. Really, that's impressive. Usually, you humans can't tell one Turian from another. This was the place. Now, are you going to give me a refund or not? Do you have your proof of purchase? What? No, no, I, I, I don't think you ever gave me one. Uh, oh, he's about to fight. What, what you... He is about to fight. Okay, maybe this is the area? Open up! I don't even know where am I supposed to be going here. But this world Shepherd, is so... Excuse me, Commander Shepard! Hi. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. You've got to have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. According to your file, you survived back on Akuz when everyone else in your squad got killed. If anyone can find the worst elements of the Citadel and live to tell about it, it's you. I mean, that's not really a flex, but okay. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. Oh, she knows. She knows. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. 
Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. All right, journalist Emily, I'll see you around. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you guys next week.